Hey, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Adamus versus Williams fight. If you're on the round here, then you have to subscribe. Please do so. Like the video, you like the video, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Adamus is 22 and 1 with 17 KOs, and Williams is 28, 3 and 1 with 16 KOs. This fight is for the WBC interim world middleweight title. Adamus' last fight was a win via KO in round 3 versus Montiel, and Williams' last fight was a win via unanimous decision versus Mancia. Adamus' loss came via unanimous decision versus TXero in 2019, and Williams' his losses have come versus Charlo in 2016, Rosario in 2020, and Hernandez in 2021. This is in Williams' home country of America, even though Adamus is probably the A-side fighter, it's still in Williams' home country. Also on this card is Martinez vs Bornea for the IBF World Super Flyweight title, in which I think Bornea will win via TKO in round 8. I think this is a good matchup this fight, I think it's a close matchup. I think Bornea is just going to be the harder hitting fighter, the fighter who is the more experienced, fought at this level for a bit longer, and I think he's just going to be able to get the win, but I think Martinez might have early success, but then Bornea will just be too much his power in the end. Going back onto the Adamus versus Williams fight. Adamus as a fighter, he's big, he's not going to have much of a height advantage, but he is physically big, physically strong, and he's slick, smart, naturally talented, powerful, coming off a punishing win. He's got good footwork, good solid jab, precise, he's dangerous early, he gains confidence, has heart, he's consistent, he digs deep. He's been in some tough fights already and managed to get through them well. I believe he beat Derevyanchenko if I'm right in saying. And I mean he's faced the adversity with the loss but he's managed to come back and rebuild himself and get him back to this position where of course now he is the WBC interim champion and this is his defence of his belt. And I respect him for taking a fight like this and keeping himself active even though he maybe didn't have to because there wasn't really much it's just because he's waiting for charlo to actually give him the fight and he might be waiting a while for that one to be completely honest but style wise he is going to be like i said imposing himself and putting himself in front and he probably will be wanting to fight in a close range and if he is precise and is putting it on early like montiel faced it's difficult to deal with and and if he is constantly throwing big explosive shots then he is going to be tough to stop and and the fact that he does gain confidence and does has that heart it means he can take his own shots and can come back and if he is like I said gaining confidence and come seventh eighth round then he's probably going to be in his element and he's probably going to be really damaging any opponent that he's with his negatives, I suppose he does fade a bit in the later rounds. I think maybe he does tire out a little bit, but that is kind of to an extent expected when you are throwing and imposing himself as much as he does. It's difficult to keep on doing that for a full 12 round fight and there's not many fighters that can do that. And his chin, it's, I mean, like I said, it's been tested and I'm sure it will carry on to be tested. I think it hasn't failed anything at the moment but I think it will carry on to be tested and I think maybe he possibly might be open to counters he can be a little bit of a counter puncher when he wants at times he can fight off the back foot at times he doesn't always but he can and I think against Williams I don't know if he's going to have to worry about that too much to be completely honest if he is imposing himself I think that would probably be the best of strategies to go with so let's speak about Williams as a fighter, of course, he has fought at this level for a while, I've mentioned the likes of Charlo, and he's a big name there, and he's been a world title challenger himself, and so of course he's fought at this level, and coming off his last victory, it was a very clear victory, and it shows that even with the losses on his record, he is still a world title level fighter, and is fighting at this level, and if he does drop down like he did, then he's clear of his opponent, and he's going to beat them convincingly and so that shows that he is a good tough test here for Adamus. He's also a quick starter so I think the early rounds for this fight will be very explosive. He's also powerful in his own right. He will punch through the guard and he can go off the back foot and he can counter and he might be wanting to keep a bit of a distance between him and Adamus and try and 
not get cut off in the ring and try not to get cornered and try not to let Adamus impose himself too much and maybe try to frustrate Adamus a little bit. He is he can be calm and he, he can be poised and so that's something which means that he might be going on the back foot and just trying to relax and be the more relaxed fighter and maybe not be overworking too much and then maybe be able to I think if he starts quickly, then he might find less success because I think if they both start quickly and they clash in the middle of the ring, then I feel like Adamus is going to have the more success than Williams. But if he's maybe calmed and then maybe quickens up later on in the fight when and maybe midway through stops Adamus from getting too much confidence, then he might find success there. Williams, his chin may not be the best. He has been times he's been chest, uh, tested with the chin and he's not maybe what he used to be in that aspect. And he can be countered himself. He can be outworked. He gets tired and has that lesser work rate. And so I think the, his best hope is to come on in the later rounds. Have a few early rounds where he is just giving rounds away if he has to and just maybe just tries to counter and tries to maybe land the occasional big shot. But not be doing too much because I think if he is doing too much early on then he's just going to get really tired out get outworked and then get maybe brutally knocked out and especially if the chin's been tested and not succeeded against the Damus it's going to get tested again most likely and so like I said I feel like he's going to find success in the later rounds if he is going to find success at Williams but of course Adamus is the favourite for this fight and I think that Adamus will win via TKO in round 7 I think to be completely honest, Williams, he's gonna it's gonna have to be a punch perfect display for him to be able to get the victory. I think even if it goes to points, Adamus will win the early rounds convincingly and then it'll make it difficult for Williams to win at, uh yeah, will win uh, make it difficult for Williams to win on points. And so I think Williams will start in the sixth seventh round, try playing to Adamus's game, but I think it will be a bit too late and or he might do it a bit too early, and I don't know. I, I just don't see Williams winning this fight, to be completely honest, and I think Adamus will win via TK in round 7. Wouldn't surprise me if it's a, a big KO, to be completely honest, but either way, I think Adamus is going to win. And then, I don't know who he's realistically going to fight next. I think the middleweight division is a bit stale at the moment, to be completely honest. I like Janabek. Janabek's one of the big names, but nobody really wants to fight him, and... Then we've got the likes of Munguia, who's not really fighting the highest of highest level where he probably should be. And I wouldn't mind a Damus versus Munguia, but I know that's Golden Boy in PBC, and I don't know if that would happen. Possibly, though. Charlo, of course, he is the WBC champion, and this is the WBC interim fight. And so, realistically, Charlo should let him fight if he isn't going to be fighting Canelo. I think if Charlo moves up to super middleweight and fights Canelo, then he probably should be stripped of his WBC middleweight and just let Adamus fight somebody for it. And that's why I'd like to see. Or Lara. Lara's not been fighting loads either himself, and that's what makes it a bit stale as well. As well as Golovkin. I don't think Golovkin's going to fight somebody like a Damus, to be completely honest. I think he's only going to have a couple more fights left, Golovkin, and he's going to want them to be big ending fights, and so I don't think he would fight a Damus. So I don't think there's... I think it's tough to find options for a Damus, but I think he definitely can find them, and he should be fighting world title after this. Um, but hopefully he is. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed, like, if you need, like, if you subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.